Hey guys, it's your boy Joe back at it again, codingface.com. Five tips to help you price your project. Free your body and your mind. Tip number one, make sure you do the research on the client. Meaning, find out how much money do they have. And how do you find that out? Let's say if a client comes to you and they say, hey, we need a website for our restaurant. Find out how big is the restaurant. Find out how the layout of it is, right? You could actually tell if they have money or not. If they don't have money, then you gotta lower the prices a little bit. You gotta work with them, okay? Number two, make sure that you write down all of the features that they want you to build. That's the first thing, right? And then once you have that, then you finalize it, right? And you say, okay, you want me to have user authentication, you wanna have a forum, you wanna have a section for users to upload or gallery, or uh, you want uh, a section for users to be able to follow other users. That whole system, you have to build it. But you need to put it in a piece of paper or in a PDF somewhere where y'all both sign it and says, hey, this is what we came into agreement. This is what we actually want. All right. And at the end, that's the only way that you're going to save yourself the headaches of having extra things coming up and people changing their mind halfway through the project is like, nah, we actually agreed to this in the beginning. That's what I'm getting paid for. Number three, make sure you add into consideration to the project assets, meaning we're talking about photos. Do you need a photographer to come into the business and take the photos for you? Do you need to pay a service for licensing different type of images, right? Because you can get sued if you go out and create a website for them and then you just copy and paste a whole bunch of images from the internet. They love that. Photographers love that because that's how they make their money, right? So you don't want to be a victim to that. So you have to put that on piece of paper like, hey man. We're gonna need a couple of images for this. And on top of that, we might need a designer. So now you have to hire a designer, okay? If you are coming in and you're doing the whole project yourself. Number four, put down either on the contract or a verbal agreement somewhere where you say, hey, this how many revisions we can actually have for the project. A lot of times you will come in and build a whole website and then now people want to change everything around. And it's like, wait, 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 hold on. We didn't have that in the scope. So why are we changing this now when we're like a week away? Okay, so make sure you keep in there, hey, there's gonna be two revisions before the ending of the project. Number five, make sure that if somebody tells you, hey, I need this in three months, but you know damn well this is supposed to take five months, you charge them very well for that because that means you're gonna be nights without no sleep, weekends without hanging out with your family or your friends, and you're just gonna be miserable. It happens, you know what I mean? You're gonna be overworked. So if you're gonna work all those extra hours, make sure you get paid very well. A lot of times we are very nice and we say, yeah, okay, cool, I'll do this. No, <laughs> don't say, cool, I'll do this. You'll be like, nah, you know what? This is gonna take way longer and actually, I'm, if I'm gonna have to do it by a set date, I need to get paid those extra hours. So now it's up to you to decide how you're gonna charge them. All right, guys, make sure you subscribe, make sure you like this video, and please comment below, what else do you think that I should add to this list? You let me know. This video is brought to you by CodingFace.com and all of its members. Make sure you go visit a website. It's the only place where you're gonna learn how to become a web developer with real projects. Take it from me, it's your boy Joe, back at it again, CodingFace.com. Keep it real, keep it trill.